Hello Blast Coaches, this is Angela here from Blast Motion and today is all about how to utilize coach mode in your app. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive in and get started. As you can see on the left hand side of my screen, I have my coaching app pulled up and on the right hand side, we do have a few takeaways from today's video. Um, as a coach, you have the ability to manage your players right from the live screen or under the main menu. The main menu is found underneath the hamburger menu up at the top left hand corner. So I'm going to select that option. And then I'm going to find the tab that says my players. From there, you can see any player that's been linked to your academy, but you also have the ability to quickly create a new player account by selecting the addition button up at the top right hand corner and filling out that player's personal information. Once you've done that and you've selected add player, that player will receive an invite into your academy. If we go back to the live screen here, you can kind of see I've previously filled out what we are going to do in today's practice, which we are working off of the T and we are also going to be working on plane connection and rotation. Ball flight is toggled off because today we are not needing any of those post impact metrics. And the last thing I need to do as a coach is select the specific player that I'm working with to ensure that any data that I'm about to collect will be filed under the correct player's account. And how I do that is I select view more players in the middle of my screen. The app's going to pull up your player roster. And I'm gonna work with Emily Crane today. So I'm gonna select her name. And once I've done that, the app automatically looks for Emily's sensor, which has previously been registered to her player account, or it's going to look for my coach coaching sensor that I've previously registered to my account. I'm not in the vicinity of Emily right now, so I can only have the option to choose from my sensor. And then the last thing we need to make sure is we are choosing the correct equipment Emily is going to be using. So with that being said, it's very important that coaches and or players select the proper equipment because a lot of athletes like to use two different bats. Um, if we have the correct bat selected, you will get the most accurate swing feedback um, by that athlete once they swing and hit the ball. After we've selected the equipment, go ahead and select done. And the last thing you need to do is start your practice. Let's say for the sake of today's video, we have started practice and we have taken some swings, uh, but we want to switch the athlete now from Emily to Duran. So all we need to do is find the left side of that pill at the very bottom of our screen, select that and find your athlete. So today, Andrea Duran, awesome. It's going to go through that same process of finding the sensor, asking you what equipment she's using, selecting the type of bat. And now anything we gather swing-wise is going to be filed underneath Duran's account. Uh, if we wanted to change the type of environment she's hitting in from T to soft toss, all you'll need to do is select the right-hand side of that pill, select the drop-down arrow, select soft toss. You also have the ability to add notes to this by selecting the add notes option and adding any notes in there that you would like. And then making sure to apply and close that will save any changes you've made. Now we know that we're hitting with Duran under soft toss. And let's say she's been hitting and you've been gathering data under the hitting portion of this app. But now she wants to switch over to the other side of the plate and start slapping. So we can always toggle that on from the live screen by selecting tap to slap at the very top of your screen. And then from there we can set for just her or we can set it for all the players. But for today's video, we're only working with her on slapping. So I'm gonna set that mode on for Duran. And now we know anything that we gather is going to be under slap mode. Again, you can always change the type of environment by selecting the right hand side, back to soft toss. And then you also have the ability to select what type of slap you're doing, power chop or soft or even general slapping. Making sure to apply and close those changes will save it and you're good to go. If you ever wanted to turn slap mode off, you just go back to the top of your screen, toggle that off, close it out, and now you're under a hitting profile. Let's say you're done with practice and all you want to do is close out of this and save it. 
All you'll need to do is just get in the habit of changing the player back to you as a coach. Select done. And then exit out of that practice up at the top left hand corner. It will automatically save it and file it under your swings tab. It's that easy. Coach mode makes it easy to collect data live with your players and switch seamlessly between them and yourself. So as a quick recap, all you'll need to do is tap the pill, select the player, and you're off and running.